Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ian and welcome to the Fit Man Style channel, the place where we discuss all things style related for the Fit Man. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I bring these videos once a week, sometimes twice. If you're not new here, welcome back and uh, let's get into it. So I just came home from work and I found this box waiting for me outside. It's from a shoe brand called Beckett Seminon. Uh, it's, a, it's a brand that I've had my eyes on for a while. A lot of your favorite YouTubers have already done videos on this, so I'm excited to try these out. They were nice enough to send me a pair. Um, I kind of have an idea of what they sent, but as you can see, it's still in the box. I haven't opened it yet, so um, I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing and then I'm gonna take it outside and test it. So uh, let's go unbox it. This is my first time trying out these Beckett Seminon shoes outside the house. And uh, right off the rip, they do feel kind of snug, but that's to be expected. With dress shoes, you gotta break them in. They are true to size, so if you are a size 11, get a size 11, uh, like me. Um, been wearing them for about an hour and a half now, and I've seen little to no creases, which makes sense, because on their website, it says, the shoes are made from calfskin leather, which is way better than the Chromoxo leather. As you can see, it's like a dark outside, but I've been wearing these shoes all day and it's like I just got them out of the box. They still feel awesome. Uh, you can see a little bit of crease there, but not too much. And shout out to that calfskin. So it seems like from this point on, I'm gonna be looking for calfskin for my dress shoes because not only are they comfortable, 
they don't crease that much. So I definitely love, love these shoes. But uh, this is my 24-hour review, I guess, if you want. Well, not 24 hours. I wore the shoes this morning. And, um, yeah, just trying to see how they feel. And they feel comfortable. They did have those extra insoles that came with the package. You know, so if I wanted to be more soft on the inside, I can put those in. But so far, man, so good. So now that we've already taken the shoe outside and tested it, let's look a little bit more closely at the shoe and its specs. Well, the first thing that's gonna catch your attention is the perforations on it. So there's some broken on the shoe, well, all around the shoe. So this is a cap toe semi-brogue. What makes it a semi-brogue is this design up here. Now I've seen two versions of a semi-brogue. I've seen this one and also the one that has some broken that comes on, on, on the side. Um, in my opinion, I feel like this version of the semi broke is a much more cleaner look. Calfskin. Um, this is my second shoe with calfskin leather on it. Very durable. The first one is the one I did on the Brogue Workshop. I'm going to link it up so y'all can check that out. And my experience so far with calfskin is that it, it, you can easily break them in. It, it doesn't take much. Like pretty much just wear it one time and you've already broken them, 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 them in. Uh, Blake stitch construction. There's people out there who would prefer like a Goodyear welt and they will say that one is much more superior than the Blake stitch. At this point, each is own. They, they both have their b b b benefits. Um, with a Blake stitch, you can easily resole the shoe. Uh, it's an Oxford, which means that the, the vamp has a closing on it as opposed to a derby, which has an opening on the vamp. This is kind of confusing though. An Oxford by nature is a very formal shoe, but the brogan on the shoe makes it casual. Now, if this was a black shoe with no brogan, like a cap toe black Oxford, you can probably pull that off with a tuxedo. If you had a black shoe with some brogan on it, you probably don't want to wear it with a tuxedo because the brogan, like I said, makes it more casual. So what can you wear this with? Well, you can't wear this color with a tuxedo first and foremost. You can wear this with a slacks, um, jeans, chinos, and yes, you can wear this with a suit. There are men wear, men's wear snobs out there that will be like, oh, you can't wear that with a suit. That's just satirically incorrect. Listen, wear what you want to wear, okay? Uh, leather interior, leather sole, rubber heel, and just an overall solid shoe. Man, what a time it is to be a menswear enthusiast. A lot of companies nowadays, Beckett Seminar included, are direct to consumer, meaning that they cut out the middleman and also these inflated prices that you see in stores and bring these quality made products straight to you at a very affordable price. Now these shoes were handmade in Portugal and after doing my research, because I'm somewhat of a shoe guy, I realized that a lot of shoe makers come from Portugal. So that gives me confidence that these were some quality made shoes. Speaking of price, on their website it starts around $300, but they slash the price down to $199. So if you're looking for shoes in the price range of say $150 to $300, Becca Seminon definitely falls in that sweet spot. However, because you guys have been good to me, you've been watching my videos, you've been liking my videos, you've been dropping your comments, you've subscribed to the channel. Hell, some of you have even hit that notification bell. I got you guys a sweet little discount. So down in the description, I hooked you guys up so you can guys can, can get the shoes at an even cheaper price. But before you hit that checkout button, I must warn you, these are shoes you're gonna have to pre-order, meaning that you may have to wait a while to get them because they have to hand make the, 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 these shoes. I'm hearing about Eh, about six weeks. So if you don't mind waiting, um, definitely give Becca Seminar a shot. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate you joining me. Let me know what you thought about this video. What you thought about Becca Seminar? Have you heard about them? Have you not? Are you thinking about getting a pair? What do you think about the pair that they sent me? Pretty cool, huh? Let me know down in the comments below. Definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And it seems like I've been giving you guys review after review for the past few weeks. So next week's video is going to be a break from all these review videos. And I'm pretty excited about that one. I will see you then. Same time, same place. And like I always end my videos, stay fly and stay fit.